Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at the dated if function. This is an undocumented function in Excel, which means if you start typing equals dated if, you're not going to see it pop up with the syntax and explanation. But it could be a very useful function if you want to calculate the period of time between two dates. So let's see how this works in Excel. So the dated if function, the syntax is as shown here, dated if, and there's three arguments, the start date, the end date, and the unit. Now the unit talks about the unit of measure that we want to display. So there's a few different ones, and we're going to break them down into two groups. First group is Y, M, or D. Y gives you full years, so if I put the formula in, dated if, C1 for the start date, C2 for the end date, and Y, it's going to tell me that there are 44 full years between those two dates. M for months will give me the full months between those two dates. In this case, there's 531 months between those two dates that we have. And lastly, D will give me the number of days between those dates. So that's the basic group. And then there's an additional group of YM, YD, and MD. Now YM, if I put that in, C1, C2, and YM, you'll see it'll give me three. That's the full months, but it ignores days and years. So from May to August would be three full months. YD gives me the number of days, again, ignoring years. So from May 2nd to August 10th will give me 100 days. And if I want to prove that, I can just go over here and type 5, 2, 19, 72, and 8, whoops, 8, 10, 19, 72. And if I just took equals this date minus that, you'll see it gives me 100 days. So that confirms that the dated if with YD works very well. And then MD gives me the number of days ignoring the months and the years. From the 2nd to the 10th gives me 8 days. So what if we wanted to create a formula that will dynamically give me information such as this? between these two dates would be 44 years, 3 months, and 8 days. And then anytime we change those dates, it'll automatically update. So the formula is going to be basically a concatenation of several components here and some text. So let's start the formula out with equals dated if, and we're going to say start date, and the end date, and we're going to put a Y in for the year. So that's the first component. Then we're going to concatenate that with quote space years comma space and end that. Next we want to get the months, so I'll put dated if, and we'll put again C1, C2, and we'll put in YM. That'll give me the months ignoring the years and ignoring the days. We'll close that off and we'll concatenate that with quote space months comma space and space and we'll put a quote there. And finally we're going to concatenate that with the last dated if function and that'll again give me the start date the end date and we're going to put MD to give me the days that ignores the months and the years. We'll close that off and finally we'll concatenate that with quote space days close quote hit enter and there's my formula with the result 44 years 3 months and 8 days. So if I change either one of these so let's say I put 7 slash 12 slash 1998 and hit enter. Now I dynamically have 18 years, no months, and 29 days. If 
I change the latter one to December 31st, 2012. Now I get 14 years, 5 months, 19 days. And there's our formula there. So that's how you can use the dated if function to calculate and create a formula that will dynamically change as you adjust the dates from a start to an end date. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.